So the little one has some flu and because of that we won't be able to travel much around and explore the area. So now I will just use uh, a little bit of time I have while he's having his nap and I will show you around Cove. It's not the best time to walk around as sun is uh, still high and all the clouds went away so we have like a perfect sunny weather but it's too early too light uh, to get some proper shots but I won't have any better <laughs> uh, so I will just use what I have and try to record a little bit there are a lot of nice houses in the area very big ones as well let's see if I can go to the other side okay that's a nice spot so yeah I think it will be a very good spot to uh, start my drone I don't see any signs that is forbidden here a uh, few miles away that way there's a Royal Navy military base so until some point there was a lot of signs uh, forbidding from flying your drones here but I haven't seen a single one uh, in Cove so that should be pretty safe to fly although I don't know what will be the footage itself because like I said it's very light and you don't see much around here but yeah and there's a the sun there it's not it's not helping but yeah uh, few hours ago you would you could see all those uh, hills mountains uh, hidden in a cloud but now uh, the cloud is gone so you can see all of them but yeah sun is not <laughs> helping Okay, so I reached the huge house I wanted to show you. Uh, you will probably see it a little bit better from my drone footage, but it's up there. You probably can see a little piece of it. Uh, it has a really huge fenced area around it. So I will go around the turn here uh, and should get a little better view of it. Still 
Not much to see, but yeah. Not to mention that other houses around here are also not bad looking. Anyway, can you imagine living in a place like that with the view on Loch Long, some mountains? I must say, I don't know how it looks like in, during summer, but right now it's a very quiet place. Let's see if I can yeah, get a little bit of that house behind me. So I can imagine that it's a little bit because of the coronavirus and all the regulations in place and uh, people not having good economical situation to go on any trips but uh, we are trying to go to highlands almost every autumn uh, especially around my birthday because I was born in November so when we were going to Glen Pinan which has the viaduct uh, that's been used uh, in Harry Potter movies uh, or Ben Nevis area which is the highest summit in Scotland uh, you you don't see many people around that time so uh, it's not necessarily because of coronavirus that it's very quiet here right now but anyway it's a very good place to come find a comfy stone and chill I don't know how warm the water is during summertime if it's good enough to have a swim here or not but uh, even if not swimming directly I think you can you could use those boards and swim on a board and uh, you can imagine how how spectacular it would be to just be in the middle of that lake <laughs> So yeah, uh, Cove is a very beautiful village, it has a lot of charm to it, so I would highly recommend uh, visiting here. I would recommend staying at the apartment that uh, we've rented, uh, although it's not the best choice for more than two people but if you are just traveling as a couple or maybe a couple with young child then that's a perfect place to be a few moments later now i will show you a little bit of the property we are staying at uh, how it looks outside i've recorded some footage inside when we arrived but I'm not sure if it will be decent quality to use. Anyway, we have the beach here. Uh, the sun is still there, so it's probably messing with the view, but we get the mountains on the other side. Uh, I won't be even trying to pronounce it. But that's the name of the property. We have a huge ground garden, a little waterfall over there. So there's plenty of room for little kids to run. Uh, since I was using my new phone, uh, I have to log in to the DJI app so I have, can 
fly more than 50 meters with my drone and since I haven't put my SIM card there uh, I couldn't use my mobile data so I just need to go back, use some Wi-Fi, log into the application and then try to get some more footage on the other side of the peninsula. So see you soon.